having some ringing in your ears for last two years. Yep. So can you describe about your ringing first? Um, I just kind of showed up one day randomly and I just didn't think anything of it. Just thought it would just go away with time and then as time went by, it never went by. Never got, never went away. So that's why I came to you. And that was two years back? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what did we do two years back? We tried to do the method with tucking my neck back and I didn't really stick with it. Right. Kind of gave and we up didn't get a, two years back we did this retraction and setting McKinsey exercises. Yep. And we didn't get a response, right? No. And then unfortunately at that time I didn't make a follow up. And then I lost you for a year and then you came back yeah. and it turns out you were still having ringing in your ears, well, right? Yeah. And so can you describe that ringing? What exactly were you experiencing? It's just like a really high pitch ear or ring just all throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And with time I was able to ignore it. Mm -hmm. And it, it just got to the point where I knew I should get it taken care of because mm -hmm. it, just, it just got worse. So. Mm -hmm. What, uh, last month, what did we do for your ringing in your ears? We did the retractions again, uh -huh. and uh, I stuck with them this time, mm -hmm. and we tried a different method where I was laying down. So you were laying on your stomach, and you were doing a sustained retraction in right. bone. Right, right. And I did that mm -hmm. quite religiously, and it helped. So how did it help? It's just gone. So for how long it has been gone? Since the last time I saw you, so... A was, month back? Yeah, about a month back. So you have not experienced any ringing in your ears? No. Okay. So today when you came in, you said, yeah, your ringing is gone. Yep. But then you shared with me something different about the frequency and tone. Mm -hmm. Can you describe that to me? Yeah, I noticed uh, if I put a phone to this ear, the dial tone was a little high pitched compared mm -hmm. to my right ear. And I clearly that's not normal. Mm -hmm. So I mentioned that today because mm -hmm. I was glad the ring was gone, but... So can you show us how you check the dial tone? Yeah, I just... I just play the sound. Put it up to my ear. And they're the same. Right, so before we intervene today with the C-spine retractor, yeah. how did you feel the difference between left and right? Uh, before I started doing this, it was high-pitched on my left ear and normal on my right ear. Okay, and so then we intervened now with the C spine retractor. Can you show us how you did the retractions? Yeah, just kind of push like this, do the retractions. And so today, how much more did we do before you rechecked the tone? How much more retractions did we do with the C spine? Uh, I did about 20 to 30 retractions, right? And it's you get more pressure when you're pushing against yourself, when mm -hmm. you're not just using your own force, right. your own muscle, but this really Yeah, it gives a counter force, so it, it helps you go to the end range. Right. Right. So what happened to the frequency of the tone? It's back to normal. Okay. Same on each side. Cool, cool. So it appears to be that this was coming from the mechanical issue in your neck, which was causing the ringing in your ears and also this tone frequency yeah. change which you were. Well, thanks for sharing your story, yeah. Anna.